It's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman, too. I don't know who you are, but I know what you awakened at the cradle. And that's something only a metahuman could do. You've lost your memory. Do you remember who you are? It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. You can call me V. It seems that our interest... I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. All right, all you have to do is listen to what I tell you. has been infected with stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of stardust exposure. When they do, they are just like that. But if you're a metahuman, you should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use stardust to your advantage. Zero one one. My name is Victor Hammett. What's your name? I don't know. All I know is that I'm a monster. My mother, my father, and everyone else. They're gone. And it was all my fault. My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Your first deviation. Look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means a child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Don't waste your time on me. I'm afraid I can't do that. 
And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. You. Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. Found it. Reach out your left hand and see if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Yes, and look what I found. A meta, only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta-human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta-human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Yes. The Butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure its safety. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safe. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you.
Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. This is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rifts when deviations get stressed. They release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, but if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. You must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading, and... Be careful! That must be a siren! Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help.
Siren. So strong. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Damn, it escaped. That 
was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now, you see. Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? What if it returns with greater disruptions? It's possible. We can't just sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully we'll meet again one day. When the Stardust is stable enough. It looks like this is goodbye. Good luck, Meta. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when they started their experiments. In the name of human progress, create to Rosetta. We are the future. And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta. But we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. About 20 years ago, Rosetta triggered a major stardust fluctuation during one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants and other deviants. No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call Rift Space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. Good luck, Meta.